Yo, yo, what's up? Michael Page Hatton here. We're just looking um, <clears throat> at how to reduce the amount of energy that I was putting into this. And it's running at 1.74 volts. Heck yeah. Now it's not going very fast, granted. But there's so, so much less friction now that I put some more graphite lubricant in, in all the holes. And then this clamp that I have, see the disc on the top there, a six inch disc. There's one underneath it too. And it clamps down on the, on the array disc. Well, they all have array on them. But I call them levitation discs because they make it float. Get a thesaurus, man. That's what I do. Yeah, there's a pole there. So what? So they're a little bit off balance. They need to grab the pole every once in a while so they don't fall. And that's what they do. There's nothing that said there couldn't be a shaft in there, man. Nothing that says there can't be a shaft in levitation. Nothing. Although, the levitation without the shaft is really, really cool. And what I want to, I really want to have a crack at doing something like that one day. That would be really, really cool to uh, have, you know, actual levitation, like say on a vehicle. You know, since we're talking here, I'm, I'm, I was thinking about Tesla coils. And if, you know, if you can polarize a wire, say, north or south, then you can, then you can definitely polarize a Tesla coil, north or south. As long as that read switch is working, should continue to move. Um, yeah, and then you could have one of these discs like attached to the wheel of your car. So it could be a, you know, hybrid of sorts. And <clears throat> then the Tesla coil, if you put them close enough together, quantumized, of course, which means you got the same amount of power or more power in a much smaller space. And yeah, that, that would be great. Then you could do exactly the levitation trick that I'm doing with these magnets. You put them so close together with the all facing the same way that it tricks the other disc, which has the same array on it, into thinking there's only one polar, one pole. You get what I'm saying? I mean, the other side is still there, and if you push hard enough on the discs, they're going to latch together. But if you don't, it works. But that's just these. And I was thinking that, um, you know, you get one of those magnet array directional things going 
or whatever, however you're going to do it, and you create the same uh, pull that's coming from the Tesla coils. And then poof, you got this pillow of electrical energy that when those magnets on the wheels or the levitation devices on the wheels hit that pillow, they're gonna you're gonna lift up and you're gonna be able to move and do whatever you need to do. I'm sure there's some great engineers that can piece that together. But I'm telling you, man, utilize the Tesla coil and under different leadership it could be cheap to do. I'm sorry, but you know, you can't Well, I mean, you can do, you pretty much do whatever you want, you know, but uh, I just think it would be a great idea to utilize the knowledge that we already have to create new and better things for now and the future. Oh, I come up with ideas all the time, man, but I, I, I'm lazy sometimes, you know? I mean, it's not an excuse, but I'm pretty sure that if you can polarize a wire, like I was saying before, you could polarize the coil. So, why aren't we getting on that? <laughs> I want to fly before I die, man. And you got to make that shit available for everybody, man. Not just the super rich or the sick and dying. There's a, like a sweepstakes win or something like that. No, man. Everybody should be able to do this. And the government should make that a priority. You know, if any of it's real to begin with. Which, you know, if you can't polarize the Tesla coil, it's kind of... That is a whole different ball game. It's a lot harder to try and figure out. And you know, see, you like you work with the infrastructure, you get asphalt for rubber tires, and it works. Or concrete for rubber tires, and it works. See what I mean? So you get Tesla coils for levitating vehicles and it works, question mark. All right, that's all I got. Have a good night and thank you for watching. Peace out.